guys. Oh, this is a terrible angle, isn't it? Oh. Okay. You know what? All those periscope pointers, they say, turn your camera on and use the video option and try to get everything set up right and then switch to periscope. That never works for me. It's a way different angle. Hey, Nikki, I was just thinking about you this morning whenever I ordered my, um, my thread up kit this morning I was thinking of you so I might have to chat with you later about how your experience went but that camera angle thing on Periscope is totally different than the camera angle on your phone if you didn't know that so hey guys how are you today it's a really blustery day that's what Pooh would say thank you I love my earrings I oh look there's Shondi Shondi makes me happy when you come Shondi so I hope you guys are having an awesome day it is really windy and gross here it's just you today so um I've got Miss Ruthie with me and I just wanted to do a quick scope because of something that come up yesterday that hey Leah that got me thinking and so um we're gonna talk and have just a little bit of fun and it shouldn't take me too long because it usually doesn't take too long for me to preach so yeah good old Virginia weather it's still March which March weather in Virginia is usually pretty stinking fickle okay so anyway my name hello Amy from Ohio I am happy I have been, I'm just embracing, I'm just embracing happiness lately. So, my name is Stacey, I blogger at humoroushomemaking.com where my husband and I talk about home management. Um, and, you know, there's just all sorts of different aspects to that. But let me tell you, we're going to talk about the boss for a little bit. And let me just preface this by saying, you can disagree and that's okay. If you are ugly, I will block you. If you say ugly things, I will block you. If you cuss, I will block you. If you make comments about my, hi Karen, about my eyebrows, I'm probably going to block you. Okay? So let's just say, this is a block party. And, you know, you know, you can disagree. That's okay. I don't mind if you disagree. I do mind if you get ugly about it, though. Okay? So, the ugly part is the part that's not cool. So, whenever I first hopped on, I was, um... Wow, someone, oh, you'd be surprised. So, when I first hopped on, I was showing a Bible verse that I'm going to read to you right now. If you're not a Christian, then this scope probably doesn't apply to you. So, maybe, you know, you could hop off and go do something else like paint your toenails or something cool. But, we are Christians, and so, you know, that's how I approach life. So, anyway, this is in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 23. Okay? Okay. And if I don't see you because I'm reading, I'll block you later. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. His body of which he is Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, this is the key part, okay? Are we ready? Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy. Okay? So, there you go. And yesterday someone said, did your husband say that you could get on the computer? Um, and that's because of the um, stance that we've taken um, with you guys on the blog and both here that Barry has the end word here. Okay. So now, now I told you cursing gets you blocked. Okay. So now. I'm first going to tell you what this looks like, and then I'm going to tell you what it doesn't look like, okay? So when I say that Barry has the last word, that does not mean that he makes all his decisions with an iron fist and he never asks me what I think. No, because it says here that um, just as Christ loved the church, okay? So, you know, oh, you missed that. Yeah, that was yesterday, dude. Oh, man, I missed that one. That was that was yesterday. I did the strip tease yesterday. So, do you know that if your husband is loving you as he loves himself, then he's not going to uh, rule you with an iron fist. He's actually going to... I'd be blocking you because I said don't cuss me. So, if your husband is doing his biblical mandate and he is loving you like Christ loved the church, then... You know, there's no problem here. Da, 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 da. And that I think that's where 
I think that's where most people's problem comes in is they automatically think, well, you know, when your husband has the last word, that means he's ugly to you and he makes all the decisions and he walks in the door and he's like, woman, make me a sandwich and get me a beer and I'm going in here to sit on the couch and watch my TV. That's not how it works here. You so ugly. Your mama ugly. I'm going to start saying that. I'm going to start doing mo your mama jokes. So that's not how it looks like here. We talk to each other. and But it means, you know, that in the end, I give him the ability to say, yes or no, we're going to do this. And can I tell you something? That's awesome. Because that means that, you know, that's a load off of me that I don't have to carry. So, if your husband is loving you like Christ loved the church, he gave his life for the church. If your husband is loving you and he would give his life for you, then he then he's not going to treat you badly. He's not going to talk down to you. He's not going to, um, no, I'm a Christian. He is going to love you. And he's going to make the best decisions for you. And he's going to make the best decisions for your family. Because that's his biblical mandate to do. So when I tell you guys that, yeah, well, Barry's the boss man. That does not mean, like I said, that he is ruling me with an iron fist. That means that he's praying and making biblical decisions. And trying to do the very best for me and for his family. Because that's what God has called him to do. So, you know, if you've ever been around me and Barry in real life or seen us together on video, you can go ahead and tell that we don't have the type of relationship where Barry walks all over me like a doormat. He actually, he actually wants to know my opinion and he wants to hear what I have to say. But when it comes right down to it, he knows that he's going to have to answer for the final decision. Okay. He's going to have to answer for that. And that's a heavy load to bear. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to carry that load to you. I really don't want to carry that load. I'm carrying babies and wiping butts and all that. I don't want to carry the load of having to make the decisions that um, have, you know, far-reaching consequences for my entire family. So when someone says, um, did your husband let you on the computer? Okay, he doesn't micromanage. There's a big difference in submission and micromanaging. He doesn't leave me a list when he goes to work and says, do this, 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 and this, and you can have 10 minutes of computer time, and here's your $5. That, that's, that's not what it says here. That's not what it says here. I mean, if your husband treats himself that way, and then he's treating you that way, that's maybe different. And maybe you got a whole other different thing going on. But if he's treating you and loving you like he loves himself and like Christ loved the church, then there's not going to be a problem. And there's, it's actually kind of, it's, it's a release when you're a, married to a man like that and you can just, you can just let it go and let him, and you can do, you can do something else. White butts, make cinnamon rolls. You don't have to carry that burden around. So what does it look like? It looks like love. That's what submission looks like. Submission looks like love. What does submission not look like? It does not look like an iron fist. So, you know, maybe if you're in the type of relationship or situation where your husband is ruling you with an iron fist, I would say probably try to look at other men figures in his life that might be willing to speak with him and talk to him about his biblical mandate as your husband um, and then just pray for him because let me tell you something right here God changes hearts wives don't hello Keely so um, you know you can try to change your husband you can try 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 you can't do it only God can do that and can I tell you something I've seen him do it over and 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 here in here so that's how that's how you have it so thank you for coming to my block party and letting me block all the people who are ugly and the people who said nasty words because you know there you go <sighs> so is Barry the boss of me I guess it's kind of funny we make jokes about it but you know that's how that's how you have it 
let your man love you enough to lead his family. Okay? So, let him love you that much. Submission looks like love. That's all I had to say. Yep. Okay, so I hope you guys have an awesome day. And that's our stance on it. And like I said, you don't have to agree. Consult this. It'll tell you whether or not you should be agreeing. Um, and, you know, block party. That was fun, wasn't it? I got rid of a whole lot of people. That was fun. Okay. It is, what day is it? Is it Thursday? Oh, yes, it is Thursday. I keep feeling like it's Friday, but it's not. It's Thursday. So I should be back tomorrow as long as things go well. And, um, oh, this Bible, I've had this one for a while. I really, it's not the one, it's not my devote, um, it's not my journaling Bible, but it's the one I reach for when I want to, um, quote something. I've had this one since, uh, college and I like it. So, well, Keely, you know, nobody has ever come on and commented on your eyebrows on your scope. But one day they will, Keely. One day they will come and comment on your eyebrows, and you better be ready to block. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you just get on other people's. Well, you, you, you know, you know, there were some earlier today. And um, so, yes, we missed the bib show. If you want to, you can go to catch.me. What's wrong? I don't know. People sometimes get on and comment about my eyebrows all the time. Um, catch.me slash humor homemaking and you can see my mini strip tees yesterday when someone told me that my shirt was too low cut and I made a comment about how I had a tank on and I got up and I showed you guys I have a tank on. So maybe we need to get Keely to do a scope on modesty because apparently I need to watch it because I don't know what modesty is and I get on here and I'm like flashing people stuff. It's getting scary up in here. Anyway, I'm hungry. So you guys have an awesome afternoon. I'll see you over on the flip side, which means Instagram, where I'm at Humorous Homemaking. And we'll be back. Uh, yeah, that's what they said. So, <laughs> Keely, you need to do a scope on modesty. You're really missing out, Keely. There's nothing wrong with my eyebrows. Well, thank you. I get people coming on there like, I love your hair and your eyebrows. And I'm like, you're such a liar. You're such a liar. Okay. I love you guys. Have an awesome afternoon. And remember that in the walk of life, it's only too late if you're dead.